what is up everybody hello hello so um i'm terrible at video and i love to do like classroom setups and i love watching classroom setup videos so that's probably like all the content you're gonna see on my youtube channel so you know that's just how i am um but anyways so it is july 17th and my carpets have been cleaned and I'm in my classroom and I just walked in so I'm just taking a brief look to make sure we don't have any leaks because I know somebody said that their classroom leaked but I'm so far seeing pretty good. Anyways, hello, I'm Kristen. I am Miss Laughlin, uh, Miss, shoot, I can't even remember what my tag is, whatever. Okay, so I am a I'm going into my 15th year of teaching, and this will be my second year in third grade as an ELA teacher. So, yay. That means uh, last year was a new school district, a new grade level, and I was new to departmentalized and all that fun stuff. So, I'm really looking forward to being in here. Um, I'm familiar with everything. Curriculum hasn't changed, so. But I will have a student teacher, so yay. Um, but anyways, I'm going to flip you guys around and show you the before. Alrighty, so front of the room, this is how I left it. They did have summer school in here, so it looks like he did pretty good about putting everything back. Um, I think he taught math, and they literally like used very little of stuff. So here we are. That's fun because that's full of books, but you know. All the me things. It looks so good in here and it smells so clean. Oh, lovely, look, curriculum, materials. Hey, not gonna complain, we already got it, I'm good to go. But this is my classroom. So pretty. I'm really not gonna do much of anything different this year, so. Um, I am going to add some more greenery um, and some more like, I don't know, more of the greenery black and white theme on the board. So I'm going to play around and try to move stuff around because you know how you see it in your head and it looks great, but then you move it and it doesn't. So this big honking desk right here, yeah, I kind of don't want it because it's so big and when I put it in front of the board it literally is hard to reach the board because it's so wide so I don't know and then with my student teacher they need a desk to sit at but this thing is so big so I thought about maybe removing it and using like cubbies because I've done that before but I always tend to go back to a desk because that's where I feel like I set my lesson plan book and my pens and all that so then my small group table is clear of space and I don't have to worry about it but if I can utilize cubbies better so yeah I'm gonna swipe you around sorry to make you sick Eek. so then I thought about making this little table um, for my student teacher, I know it's small, but it's just enough space for her to put things on and to sit at. So trying to figure that all out. Yeah, good times. All right, I'm gonna set you up and I'm gonna play around. So here we go. Okay, I'm in a huge dilemma, y'all. Like, seriously, does this look too, I'm asking you guys and I'm, I don't know, I could change it after I post this, but 
Is this like too clustered? I mean, that's gonna be for my student teacher. Like I said, this desk is massive, takes up a lot of space, and then my small group table. So then that leaves this for like all my calendar schedule and all that stuff. And then this area will be like my teaching area this year. And I have the board, which is off centered because of this carpet. So I'm really trying to figure out what to do. Cause I feel like that is just so overwhelming. And then when I get like my rolly carts and all that, I feel like it's gonna look like a lot. Now, one point of last year, I moved this over here and centered the carpet. And I might have to do that again. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna move this over here and shift the carpet down. And that way, this doesn't look like a bunch going on. Yeah. Okay, here we go. All right guys, so I've had you on like time lapse for a long time. That's just the easiest thing to do. So I'm going to flip you around and kind of just talk you through what I've done or what my thoughts are and my plans are for what's gonna happen next. Okay, all right. So I decided to, I've seen this in one of my coworkers' rooms and I thought, okay, this is an awesome library shelf. Do not get me wrong. But I, she had her um, bins because we have two classes. Okay, I have a morning class and an afternoon class. And I used to keep their bins all along this counter, which made it really hard because of these people right here. And I just felt like it was just a lot, right? So this makes it easier because the afternoon kids can go from this shelf, shelf door to right here to get their book bins and come in and sit down. Why my morning class, my homeroom class, they have book bins up at the top above their actual cubby. So it just makes it a smooth transition. So with that said, that opens up this right here and then I have a ton of books, so I'm gonna have to probably get rid of some, I don't know. So I have an awesome guy who made me a shelf last year. Um, he made me one of these, very heavy duty, um, love it. And so I requested if he could make me a shelf that's actually going to fit the length of my TV, the height to the bottom, and then come out maybe like a foot so then it still gives space and I'm gonna put my library books here so then it's open for the carpet and then that way I feel like it will make it a good transition and I won't have to worry about kids coming back over this direction for any reason now a mailbox situation I have those for one class and then that is the slots for another class well, I don't know. I thought about doing the filing system and having two separate ones for filing system. So then that opens up this area. Still undecisive, don't know what to do because I have all of these drawers and don't know what to use them for. So I thought maybe one class could be the drawers and one class could be the filing. Um, Probably maybe more my morning class, my homeroom class, and then my afternoon class would maybe be the filing. I don't know. And then I have this little open area where I've had my bench before, but I just felt like it was kind of claustrophobic. And I kind of want to give my students like a student section um, where they can go to for paper, extra things, you know, pencils and all that. 
but I also thought that could be over here, but then once again, we're messing around with these people. At least back here, there's nobody close enough to mess around with. So, I'll just show you around what I got. I'm gonna put some of those on half of the chairs. There's 12, so I have 24 desks in here. I do have a 25th one because I had 25 kids last year, but I'm gonna put that in the hall. These black bins are what we use for everything. So this is my, um, this is what my kids, my homeroom uses. Um, and then same for these, my afternoon class. So we use those, actually the colored ones, I apologize. My homeroom uses the colored ones um, for their in-class materials. Those things stay up above their cubby. The black ones go in their cubby, and so when they transition, they take their black one and take like their folder and their crayon box and whatever, their water bottle, and then they take the black ones to the other classroom. So, and then my afternoon class has black as well. So those will go over here. And then I'll have some free space too. I thought about putting the testing folders and any student stuff over there pencil and all that I don't know and then just a bunch of crap so well it's not crap it's whiteboards and markers and student things I think I have board games and all that that I used to keep under the bench um this is their Chromebook cart so I thought about moving it over here and scooting that over so then everything is kind of over here but once again it looks just all crammed I don't know um, so yeah, but then that would take space away from over there and from that person sitting at that desk. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, my phonics wall, my student teacher desk, and then my desk. So I had it this way one point in time last year and I loved it. I did get really cool because there's a really cool draft right there. So I got to figure that out. But I decided to put this shelf up against this wall so it frees this whole space up. Then it has my rolly cart because really truthfully, if there's a substitute teacher that comes in, they're going to come to the desk. So I need to make sure I have my stuff here. And then I have all my binders and planning material here. So I just figured that would be realistic. Like, let's be real. Carpet. And then obviously this is pushed way up but this will be pushed back. I did have this over here last year. I kind of felt like it was kind of dark, but I'm gonna make it work because I put a lamp in the corner, so that's gonna help. And then I plan on hanging lights, so hopefully that'll help too. And then I have these shelves here, so I will put any small group supplies that I need over here. Now, these are with our curriculum. Isn't this an awesome closet? Yeah, so awesome. So this is with our curriculum, the Rigby readers, but um, I'm not 100% on them just because it's not decodables as in focused on detailed skill of like spelling and stuff. It's more like the reading aspect of it. Um, so I really don't want to put those out here, but I mean, they're fine here anyways. But I did thought of it, think about putting them back here just so I had them for reference if I needed to because it does go along with the story and the skill and all that. So I could pull it out for reference, whatever. Um, my filing cabinet. And then this is all like, okay, of course you see Kleenexes. I did keep a couple of math manipulative stuff right here just for whatever. Um, that's STEM bin. Those are like prizes. But then everything else, that's OERB. Um, I know I have not been trained. That was left over from the last teacher a couple years ago. So I don't teach science, but it's there. But these two shelves are all my uh, classroom transformation stuff. So I have my glow day. I have my main idea, like chef stuff and all that. And then my really cart. And then these drawers right here is just full of junk. So this is some decor that I use and some extra folders and there's like a ton of like technology stuff that they left last year for the speaker and the TV and all that and then just a bunch of stuff. So really nothing that I absolutely need to get to but this 
are all my personal books. And then these are sets. And these are my personal teaser books as well. And then these are whatever, buckle down books. There's not enough for each student, but they're there. We kept them just so we can reference to. And then just a little information. Put your borders, hang them up with a push pen and a binder clip. And there you go. And leftover bulletin board in the corner. So anyways, there's the front of the room. I really thought about moving those. But yeah, I don't know. Because then it, like, it's all open up here. You know what I mean? It's like cray cray. But then I thought I could move the phonics wall up here. But yeah, I don't know. That was a pain. So I don't know if I'll move that. Mm -hmm. We'll see. All right, that's all I've done so far. <laughs> Four dots. Do you think they're gonna be able to stand on them? And know their spot. We are third graders. And I have a, another spot back there up against the wall for 25. And you shall see. I took my stem bands out of those, out of that cabinet, because this is like indoor recess stuff, so it's easy access. Um, don't know where to put those. I'll probably take those home, would be my guess. Yeah, that's my teacher cart, stand-up cart with the chair, so gotta figure that out. Curriculum boxes torn down. All right, got all that. I went ahead and shifted those down. Don't know, we're gonna see. I got both classes on tables for the first set. There's my table. And then I got a bunch of crap over here. So gotta find places for that and get that all clean and organized. And then add decor right there. Get my calm down corner situated. And then I still have all of this. So rainbow car, I really used when I did like phonological phonics center like things in kinder first and second. Um, we don't do that so much in here in third grade. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rainbow cart, but definitely not gonna get rid of it. Um, those are clipboards and whiteboards, so I will probably put those down here for student access. If not, they'll go under the bench to be hidden. 
and then those are going to be afternoon bins for over here but then again I might switch out the black ones and do them I don't know yet those are a set of mailboxes so I don't know if I'm gonna use those if I'm gonna use those as mailboxes or if I'm just gonna do the whole filing system so anyways that is what I got done with today so I hope you enjoyed this video this is classroom setup day one and I feel like I've gotten a lot accomplished so I'm going to hopefully come in tomorrow for a couple more hours maybe work on my desk try to figure out this whole situation um, it's my new shelf will not be ready until the August 4th I think so I can't move my library books to the front of the room and so forth so I just have to do everything else but anyways I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.